Dracovich, spit that out of your mouth. Lincoln is not food. Well, I don't want to show this too much because I did get in trouble for using burps. I'm not sure this is allowed on YouTube. Anyways, uh, hi everybody, this is Black Rhino Ranger. And welcome to yet a nick, 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 nick. Uh, actually, actually, uh, let me replace that. Let me, uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, replace that. Um, let me say B, 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 R, R, B, R, R's live stream. Uh, yeah. Now, what you've seen earlier was a paid request by Mick and, Mickey and Sora. Thank you very much, but I, I had to do it off screen because um, I wasn't too sure of what he requested. I'm allowed to show that on, on YouTube because of the policies and stuff. Uh, fetish, you can say. Anyway, uh, no, no, I'm not counting that. That one is just, uh, that one I won't count that. I'll allow another live Loud House sighting. So anyways, now today, from this day, we it is the 44th anniversary of the first testing of the Nickelodeon channel. Although it was, re it was launched on September, on in 1979 on April Fool's. But today was its, was 44 years ago was its first testing. So for this occasion, all you gotta do is request me anything relating to these enlisted, um, these enlisted uh, Nickelodeon cartoons, all the way from Rugrats, Ren and Stimpy to It's Pony. There are some I might have been missing, but that's because I haven't seen them, so I'm not sure how I can how I can do them. And as for Avatar and Korra, they might be a bit difficult because uh, they're very advanced, very anime realistic. -ish. I do have a book that allows you, that teaches you how to draw or Aang and Korra, but um, it may take a bit too long. But also, I have a rule. There are there are at least three Nickelodeon cartoons I will not allow people to draw unless somebody pays me. Dora, Breadwinners, and WC. I still refuse to say the full name. Hmm. Hmm. I just have a deep hatred for these shows. Anyways, what do you want me to draw her first? Which one do you want that, that's related to Rugrats? Or Ren and Stimpy? Or Rocco's Modern Life? Let me know. Let me know. Excuse my language. Yes, but now I... But now that you mention it, I will find you. And I will kill you. Um, is Sanjay and Craig knocking the loud? Um, it's not too bad in my opinion. Nothing, gr nothing great, but it's not too bad. Not the worst thing I've seen. There is a bit of merit to it. Although I have seen a review of Fart Baby. Oh, what's this? Waff. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I know. <laughs> uh, excuse me for a minute, fellas. Uh, I'm. There, I will say that I do have a little bit of something uh, at the back of my throat that's kind of aching. And sometimes when I speak, it kind of hurts a little bit. So I won't talk too much. <clears throat> I, I still have a very clear, I still have a, quite a clear throat. Just uh, a little bit of a nake, that's all. So anyway, what was, what was I? Uh, yeah. <laughs> The thing about one thing, I I am when I was a kid, I did remember hearing about Cat Scratch, but I didn't really get into the show until I was in my teen years, and um, it's a shame because this show is actually very funny, and I'm kind of sad that this show didn't last so long. Um, yes. Now you might, <clears throat> now you might be when you hear the voices, you might be quite familiar with. With some of the voice, 
sis. Like um, Waffle is played. I, I mean, played by a, the same guy who played Pleakley from Lilo and Stitch, as well as one of the almighty tallest from Invader Zim. Um, Mr. Blick is played by Wayne Knight, the same the same guy who played that uh, that guy who stole some of the um, this, that guy the same guy who who played the that guy who stole the the dino DNA from Jurassic Park and um, Tantor of of Tarzan and, and Dojo of and Dojo of Shaolin Showdown. And of course, Rob Paulson plays a uh, uh, Gordon Gordon Quid, and I think he used the same accent for the for Bobble in the Tinkerbell movies. <laughs> I think my most favorite episode from uh, from uh, Cat Scratch is the is the one where uh, Gordon accidentally uh, goes accidentally ruins everything by tossing Human Kimberly's uh, project into Human Kimberly's project into the um, in, in, into the center of the earth and he ter and everything becomes all all rainbows and unicorns and stuff. Even Waffle, even Gordon himself was transformed to look like a Pikachu. Gordon, you're adorable! Yeah, that's waff that's waffle. Um, where is that? Uh, is this um? Another thing about Cat Scratch is that it's kind of like Ed, Ed, and Eddie in a sense. And Gordon, um, um, Gordon is the is the kind of the wise one. Mister Blick is the uh, is the le is the self appointed leader and a bit of a selfish guy. And Waffle is is very naive.
And uh, what was that other one again? Um. <laughs> and the Galarian Meowth looks like a combination of Gengar and, uh... <coughs> and... Is it the Tasmanian Devil or is it, uh... Pop Viz? I don't know. I think I remember this episode where Gordon and tries um wants to get this broccoli to human Kim or something, but then it turns out he's allergic to broccoli and it makes him a gigantic monster like creature. And this scares Blick and Waffle. <laughs> Hmm, the tail is quite hard to see. Yep, oh, there it is. Here we go, fellows. We have the cat scratches, the three different meelds. Um, that's uh, that's a crosser. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? <laughs> la 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 cat scratch. Gordon and Waffle and Mr. Wink. This kind of reminds me of the time when, uh, when this uh, reminds me of the time when Cat Dog, they tried to eat at a taco place, but unfortunately, since uh, the rabbit was in charge, he does not allow the win, and he had the line, no shirt, no shoes, no Cat Dog. Okay. 
Let's face it, dog. We've been banned. Sorry, that song is stuck in my head. I mean, if, you know, whether you like cat, dog, or not, you gotta admit the theme song can get stuck in your heads. I mean, it goes da 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 <laughs> it can it even the even the the extended version that that can get suck you in i mean the harmonica sound There we go, we have cat dog and eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Do not question their digestive system. <laughs> I'd say it goes to a parallel universe. <coughs> wait, 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 what was that again? Uh, um, wait, was it, was your request a bit? Um, you um, you want to, so, uh, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to count transform, I don't want to count Transformers yet. I mean, Transformers has become a bit of a multi, multi-channel type of thing. I mean, it was on Cartoon Network, it was on The Hub, and now there's a Nickelodeon show about it, and there's a Netflix show about it. Uh, well, well, Transformers did have a Paramount, did ask Paramount to uh, publish the Transformers movies, and, uh, Oh, I'm, I, um, I'm, oh, you want, sorry, I'm just, uh, just looking at the Doug request, uh, I don't think, I don't really consider Doug a Nicktoon. Yes, I am aware that Doug is, uh, is, um, 
did, did when he first appeared on first appeared he was a Nicktoon, but uh, I'll be honest, fellas. I never once saw Doug on Nickelodeon. I saw I only saw the Disney version, and it kind of cemented in my head seeing Doug as a Disney show. I never considered it a Nick show. Yes, yes, Nick, it was. He started off as a Nick, but Disney currently owns Doug now, so uh, it no longer counts. <laughs> Uh, let's see, um, <laughs> hmm, that's what can, A little bit more far apart. And funny enough, Family Guy used to air a lot on Adult Swim, which is a, which is a Cartoon Network, which is a Warner Brothers owned um, channel. But now Family Guy is owned by Disney. And uh, also speak, also this kind of, also there's a uh, Star Wars, Clone Wars, which uh, used to. Air a lot on Cartoon Network, but is now purchased, but is now owned by Disney. I know there another um <laughs> I know a certain person who absolutely hates Doug so much because uh they say he when he was a kid hit his uh par he was bullied worried for having the name and everybody's like you're Doug funny you're Doug funny at least that's what a certain movie critic told me. <laughs> uh, what was I? Hmm. I think I may have drawn something similar. Let me let me just look up some let me just look up. I think I might have drawn something like that before. I'll 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 be right back. Oh that wasn't it was um
have uh, we have um, XJ9 as a belly dancer um whoops forget the belly there we go okay what else do we have have you seen the live-action Bauhaus movie? I have not. Oh, uh, thank you, um... <laughs> hmm. It's gonna be difficult for me to draw the penguins of Madagascar. But, uh, I'll see what I can do. Just, um, hey, this kind of reminds me of uh, the um, the SpongeBob episode Spy Buddies, where SpongeBob and Patrick they become spies for they become spies for. They become spies for um, Mr. Krabs, and they were told they were tasked to uh, keep an eye out for. They were tasked to keep an eye out for um, uh, Plankton, as uh, as Mr. Krabs fears that he's up to something.
Well, what am I doing? It's supposed to be a, a spy agent. <laughs> Your name's Bob. Sponge Bob. And now to include um, the penguins. And finally, um,
Hmm. Here we go. We have um, Skipper, Kowalski, Rico, and Private on SpongeBob. You guys want me to include Manfredi and Johnson? Oh, you don't know who Manfredi and Johnson are. Oh, they used to be Skip part of Skipper's crew, but then they had many many different fates. According at one point, they said. They were killed by flying piranhas, and they were buried. And they buried what was left of them with a teaspoon, or, or um, they fell hard for the chinstrap sisters. They lost their hearts, their lungs, and fifteen feet of intestine. Or um, or uh, what was that again? Um, they were at the business end of a beluga whale. They couldn't speak for a month, and aside from that, it was gibberish. Anyways, what was I? Oh boy. Let's see what you have in store. Come on. Do your worst. I have seen Penguins of Madagascar as a kid. In fact, I remember watching it very much... Very much. So, uh, where is the request? How, um, where is the, which is the request, where, what is the paid request I must do? I need to know what it is. Okay, let me just, uh, cross out, uh, let me just cross out, uh, what, part. Hmm. Another another fire emblem request. Uh, a what plant? Hmm. That's a strange looking plant. It's like a combo of... It kind of looks like a combo of chili peppers and an umbrella thorn tree. Let me just draw out the spiky plant first. And it stands up kind of like Cooksonia, this uh, prehistoric plant said to be one of the first to ever appear on Earth like 400 million years ago. Hey, there's the, there's the thorn. Hmm. Now to, uh, over there. Okay, um. Hmm. Hmm, I thought you were thinking about Otis from back in the barnyard. But, uh, no, you're not. It's, uh, Timmy time. <laughs> so the token... Hmm... Well, to be fair, when I was a kid, um, I was tasked to, uh, I was tasked by my uh, English teacher to, um, 
to uh, make uh, something out of Swiper the Fox. Dude, I had to print out a cutout pieces for Swiper the Fox. I will say I am a I will say as much as I don't like that show I am quite soft on on Swiper because of how pathetic he is as a villain. <laughs> do all you got to do is say swiping no swiping like a bajillion time about three times he's like oh man yeah try telling that to an actual thief. If I guess <laughs> Even Sesame Street. I know what you're thinking. Dora the Explorer is meant for uh, is meant for toddlers, right? Isn't I mean, and let them enjoy the things. Yeah, sure, but uh, Sesame Street actually does a better job at teaching toddlers something than Dora. I mean, and Sesame Street talked about death. They talked about disability, divorce, racism. Um, heck, there's, there's, they did t teach about autism and all, and so many other things. So, um, I've been told that Doris was teaches people how to speak Spanish, but the one episode I remember seeing from Dora uh, didn't have any Spanish lessons at all. <coughs> In fact, the episode I remember seeing as a kid was the one where uh, where they, there's this boom over this yellow valley and they're trying to figure out what where, what that boom is and they're on there are about three locations they have to go to this rickety rackety bridge and then to the quiet forest and then and then to uh, um, to the yellow valley it could have easily been solved in just 7 or 10 minutes, but they had to drag it out for 22 mi minutes. Nine, and immediately I was bo bored. Let me just uh, color the uh, plant. To, um, just to uh, give it a bit of a. Um, nope. Again, it kind of looks like chili peppers.
Oops. I mm, accidentally selected something wrong. Mm. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Okay, time to, uh, got one more to go.
There. Done. Anyways, what was I? <laughs> Swipe. Swiper's tail? Oh, 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 yeah. You mean, you mean stripey? Uh. This, this is, no, no, this is not swiper. This is stripey. And I don't, and I don't see much of a tail. No, I don't, I think I, I don't think I'm missing out any details. Anyways, what was I? Well, I'm trying my best. I mean, the thing about Fire Emblem is that uh, the characters kind of kind of look alike. I hate to say it. I'm sorry, I'm just not a big fan of Fire Emblem. Yeah, what was that again? Uh... Have we already done Lincoln Lord? No, no, that one I'm, I'm not I'm I'm not counting that one. And this does a bit of a disservice to Lincoln. So uh, I think I ah uh, yeah. It's, um, it'll be lightning blue instead of lightning yellow. Well, I mean, if I remember correctly, the, the speed was blue. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> See, um... 
Oh, I didn't. Oh, sorry, but I did not include Ninja Tur. Those on the list again, just like Transformers and even Garfield or, or even Doug. It's become a. It's become a multi-channel type of show. Oh, so I'm not necessarily counting the Ninja Turtles. Hmm. Um, did I, uh, did I enlist back at the barnyard? Uh, no, I did not. Hmm. Uh, what else, what else? Um, I already did something like that. I, and rather, but, and, I, sorry, but I already did something like that with Ren and Stimpy, Freeze Bear, and Firecrack, and I, I had Ren as Freeze Blade and Stimpy as Fire Kraken, so uh, I, there's no need for me to do that. I, I already did something SpongeBob related, so. Oh! Edgar and Erlen! I, I'm quite familiar with them. Uh, not fully, because. Uh, N not fully because I never watched the show, but uh, but I did remember seeing commercials about it. It was a. Uh, let me just have a look. It was a. Uh, was based on a series of books, and uh, they uh, they uh, they used to they used to premiere on. Nicktoons Network and it used to be on Nicktoons in the UK. So, um, but it, but since it was uh, made in Canada, it's uh, it's not really a, it's not really counted as an official Nicktoon. But it but it but in the United States and the UK, it did air on Nicktoons. So I think it kind of counts. Um, so what is it? What is it again? Um, um, <laughs> the designs are quite reminiscent to, uh, they kind of remind me a little bit of, uh, they kind of look a little Adam's Family-ish. <laughs> kind of like Adam's Family meets Beetlejuice.
just gonna have a little table thing so I can Sorry, I'm just a... Uh um, now what, what was the, th what was the thing again? Hey, yes, it's to, um, what network they should be on. There we go, we have Edgar and Alan thinking about which network they should be on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, what was it? Oh, um, okay, uh... Uh, let's see, let's see, where, where do I go from there? Okay, I know, I think I know your bird. Okay, so uh, let's hear it. To... Okay.
this character. Wait, why does the name, why does the name remind me of uh, your OC character's name? It reminds me of something from Nickelodeon that I ain't exactly a big fan of. Again, it also reminds me of uh, of a character from Di Snee from Sleeping Beauty and the Komodo dragon from Chester Zoo that is able to have babies without a male around. Basically, the same reproduction system as a uh, sea sponge and a desert grassland whiptail lizard. Oops, sorry about that. Mm. Ask um, how old are you? It's just out of curiosity. How? Just, just curious to what your age is. Um, the um, it, it's um the requester. I mean, this is a birthday request after all. I can see this design almost fitting in the world of Quick Draw McGraw from Hanna Barbera. So what's the age? Oh, 17. Okay, so um, where is it again?
and this is the Okay, that's um
Okay, what was that last? Okay, one more character and then I'm finished. Yeah, it's finished. Just um, getting a bit of a refreshment. Okay, let's see how many have we done aside from the from the paid ones. Let's see, we done Rocco, Hey Arnold, Cat Dog, SpongeBob, Roll, Terrence, Cat Scratch. Hmm. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, huh? Then you once said, uh, wait, I thought it was, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, I just, uh, Last-minute edition, they want me to include another well, part of the same thing. It kind of, kind of drives me insane. Hmm. I got way too many cocos on my head.
done at last. And now what was I? I already did SpongeBob, so uh <laughs> I think I I think I would rather prefer it if if it's the other way around. Have Zimbi Shadow and Gur as Omega. It looks kind of weird. It looks kind of weird for Shadow and Omega to dress up as Zim and Gur rather than having Zim and Gur dress up as Shadow and Omega. It's weird. I swear. <laughs> oh, oh, just like the. Oh, you mean. You know, sometimes you gotta wonder what's what's going on behind the mind of of um, John K, the guy who created Ren and Stimpy. I mean, of course. Now, ignoring what he has done to some of his employees, let's let's put that aside. Um, he's always a bit. Um, he always he's always a bit of something when it comes to. His projects. I mean, while he is, he did revolutionize on shows like Ren and Stim. He did revolutionize on Ren and Stimpy. He um. He was always a bit of a pain, thing to work with, and uh, Nickelodeon. I mean, he um, often would delay on his projects. Thanks. I mean. Nickelodeon is was basically said we had to keep we had to enforce a lot of episodes to be made as soon as possible because we had an audience waiting for new episodes and John K would take his sweet time to to talk to would take his sweet time to try and perfect his uh, anime shit um Word of advice: If you're working at a t at a TV on a TV show, perfection should not be your number one priority. A good, pro making a good show or a good episode probably should be, but perfection is not something you should think about first. It can be, but it can have it can work, but it's best that you focus more on good than on perfect because if you focus too much on perfect you 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 might get uh, something a bit um, how can I say it um, well it caused him it, it may cause some serious consequences like uh, delaying on your works.
Um, and of course, when he made his Cans Without Labels uh, a short, it was first announced in 2012. But he, but it was actually, uh, it was already in production sometime around. It first was in production around 2009 or 2010. Hmm. It was when um, George Lick, the voice actor of George Licker, here uh, passed away in 2010. But he managed to complete his lines. Hmm. Um, and he first announced his project in 2010, but uh, 2012, but it wasn't completed until 2019. Actually, he did complete the short in 2017, but only two years later did he decide to release it. And uh, and it was a year after, after his um, after his uh, a dark side was fully shown to the public, and now people look no longer look at him as a beloved creator of a show, but rather somebody you want to avoid at all costs, especially if you are a young woman. And of course, the short was met with underwhelming results. I mean, I mean, not only, not only because the short was filled with, with nothing but fluff, and there's not much humor going on. And it, it was kind of the nail of the coffin to his career. Now I do understand where this, where the idea of the short came. From. It came from John Kay's childhood when he was, uh, his father would often buy these uh, cans without any labels. And, uh, and uh, he, would, he, would, he, he would never buy any regular brand. He was always a real cheapskate. So when so when uh, John, he brings them home, John, they would open the can, it was like goat liver or bladder or something like that. A lot of disgusting products. Hmm. Um, um, and it was reflected on in, uh, in Cancer Dot Labels, George Licker, his uh, his un his nephew he gives his nephews a taste of, of. They think it was beef stew, but no, it was a face. And another problem was uh, was the audio. Now, because the guy who played George Licker passed away, some of the audio was a bit edited. Like when the way. Oh, sorry. Um, like the way he say, uh, do you know the. <laughs> Do you know how many starving African babies would kill for a nice face like this? Do ya? <laughs> I tried to make my own version of cans without labels by by including a bit more humor, a bit more substance, a few more a few more funny moments and making the scene and making things a bit shorter and quicker so it doesn't drag too long and uh, add in a bit more substance and stuff and uh and only within a month was i able to do it because i was busy with another project and uh my cousins demand my animation to release a bit early um and uh people people are like hey john k did this better i was like Really? John? Um, uh, okay, so that was a mistake on my part. I, I, I won't do it th that stunt again, I promise. Anyways, uh, oh, I got another one. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, just a minute, fellas. I'll be right back. I just need to... Um
uh, what was I again? Um, what's LS again? Christmas preparation LS. What does that stand for? Uh, uh last second, you mean? This is preparation. Excuse me, I'm just trying to find them. Um
and you're just gonna add in that magic aura thing. <sighs> okay, I still got a... Okay, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, okay, and... So many... LT Grey, I'm not familiar with that cartoon. Yeah, I see. Nobody wants to vote for the... Yeah, that's more like it. I think I think I better have it like this.
is um, and now for la pizza resistance. Now we go, we have Zim and Gur as Shadow and Omega. That's Invader Zim taken care of. Okay, um... Kirk Thornton. No, I have not heard of him. Um...
Oh, maybe that one's a bit a bit too tough. Hmm. Okay, now for Jimmy Neutron, now because he's a 2D char 3D character, it's not going to be easy for me to draw him. The best I can do is to have him based on these on his appearance in Fairly Odd Parents. Are you okay with that? I mean, when Jimmy, the during the Timmy Timmy Tower Hour, the Jimmy, he, Carl Weezer, they all became 2D characters. Here's in the Fairly Odd Parents. Well, are you okay with that? Hmm. Hey, what am I doing? No, 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 no. It's a, it's a pity that um, the guy who played Crumb, he hasn't done a lot of voice roles since, since, um, he hasn't done a lot of acting roles since Our Real Monsters. I mean, that's the only thing he's ever, he did have a few acting roles, but, but Our Real Monsters is like the, one of the only times he actually does any voice acting. I heard he was he was more the sound or audio editor or something. <laughs> and he's perhaps the most human looking of the monsters. <laughs> Except for the eye thing that's very monstrous. He doesn't really do a lot of scaring, he just stinks things up. Now you're probably wondering, why did I say real monsters instead of Ah, real monsters? <laughs> I think it was just, uh, I think I just like to say real monsters for short. I'm sure some of you s often say real monsters for short. Anyways, what was I? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, this is a new one. by the same guy who uh, wrote for Spongebob in his pre-movie days also wrote, helped write and storyboard for the Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy and also voiced Fred Fred Berger the creator of the Cartoon Network show Chowder Uh, and I think he also had a hand in in fish hooks. <laughs> he um also <laughs> uh, it's a shame that his show kinda got botched up by Nick I mean and when, uh, although Harvey was doing very successful and did very positively Nick decided for some reason, just decided to re air all the remaining episodes on Nicktoons instead of instead of uh, Nick Collodian. and the creator of the show was not very happy about it. He they say he put it he put a tweet about. He, he I, no, it wasn't really a tweet. It was a it was a blog. It was a blog about it. It. And Montfort and some, and then he deleted it. Rumor has it that he, that Nickelodeon forced him to remove it and issue an apology. Hmm. Hmm. It goes to show that Nickelodeon hmm. Does not l take no, doesn't like to take no for an answer. The Ivy beats his check. Let's right, see, let's see, how will we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, ten down. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen more to go. We can do this. Um, no, I am not doing Doug. Oh, that is no longer a Nicktoon to me. Let's see. Spell what? Spe Spaghetti taco from Random. Do I actually kind of fit? Do I actually not out of the norm for the Casa Grande days? I mean. I mean, there was a there was an episode where they tried to go for what is the latest fad, and uh, um and um Ronnie <laughs> and Ronnie Ann did try to uh, make uh did try to make a trend by having these fish anchovy things and when Sid tried it she's like not the worst I've tasted <laughs> mm. 
But I don't think Rosa would appreciate uh, the Mexican mixed with Italian. I mean, we have a, I mean, we have a French Mex cat buffet, and we have a, a Aloha Comrade, uh, restaurant, which is a Russian, which is Russian, Hawaiian. But that's only in Royal Woods. I don't know if I've seen any of that in Great Lake City. Just out of curiosity, do you, th do you guys prefer runny Lincoln Lyles with Ryan or some other, or some other fee, or some other girl? Let me let me know in the comments. Do you prefer Lincoln with Ronnie Ann or why am I not drawing her right? Excuse me, I am uh, something's not right. Hmm, that's, that's, that's better, that's better. Um, do you prefer her with Ronnie Ann, or do you prefer, do you prefer him with Ronnie Ann, or do you prefer him with Stella, or Goral Jordan, or Christina, or any other character in the Loud House? And you think Ronnie Ann should go for somebody else? Like Laird? Okay, okay, that's a stupid thought. Okay, Ronnie Ann is finished. That ticks off the Casa Grandes. I know she's originally from the Loud House, but uh, I consider her more Casa Grandes than Loud now. <laughs> Anyways, um, as long as not him with his sisters. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh, okay, 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 yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The R wing's a bit complicated. I'm not sure if I can do it.
Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Uh, forgive me if I spoke to anybody with that. <laughs> I was like, just so sudden. Hmm. Just a minute. Oops. Yes. Hmm. Here we go. We get some goofballs over here. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, what was I? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know if uh, Wild Thornberries ever did a dinosaur themed, uh, so they probably wouldn't because dinosaurs are extinct and they are more likely to explore just the modern world animals. Uh, maybe there wasn't, maybe they would have, maybe there would have been an, a special episode where where Wild Thornberries takes place in the prehistoric ages. Yes. <laughs> I can imagine hmm, Nigel going Booga Baka Booga Baka Booga Baka Booga Booga Something like that. There's a caveman version of Ba Ba Now Smashing. I'm thinking maybe Oh Smashka. <laughs> Yeah, Tim Curry was also Pennywise. It's a shame that uh, it's a shame that uh, Tim Curry suffered a stroke in 2012, and because of that, he has to be in a wheelchair and limited on his acting. Hence, why uh, he was not able to return as Nigel when they were doing a robotic a robot chicken sketch, and yet all the female voice actors. Yet the voice actresses for Debbie, Eliza, and the mother, they all returned to do that robot chicken sketch. Just not Tim Curry. And this is why I doubt he's uh, they're ever going to bring him in if they ever decide to update Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl with voice acting. They might have to hire some somebody else to do his voice. And don't be surprised if it ends up being underwhelming. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, I'm just talking to my. I'm sorry, I'm just a. Uh, Bunsen is a beast. That air grating. Hmm. That air grate. Uh, anyways, uh, what was a uh, what's Lord? Who is? This is this is not this this is not Nickelodeon. This is 
This is not Nickelodeon, that's Disney Afternoon. <laughs> he was going to do a villain on Roger Rabbit, but his audition terrified the producers. <laughs> okay. Okay, what was I? Again, this is based on the Fairly Odd Parents uh, drawing of Jimmy Neutron. Hmm. He's like, um...
<laughs> Anyways, um, let's see, we got Char. Let's count how many we've done so far. Um, what's left to do? Rugrats, Kablam, Angry Bee, Rocket Power, Fairly Odd Parents, Chalk Zone, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, and It's Pony. Um, let's see, um, what else? Um, Fairly Odd Parents, Do the Bearable, Jer Jimmy. Can, uh, sorry, but I'm, I'm not including Ninja Turtles, because like I said, uh, Ninja Turtles has been, uh, and besides, it's very difficult for me to do the two to 2012 or, or shit, because, like I said before, I have a hard time trying to draw 3D characters. Anyways, I'm 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 better off drawing the 1987 or the 2003 versions or the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Go away, unicorn, which is a predecessor to its pony. Um. Well, I'm out of the name of Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Love it. Yeah, Doug is, like I said, I'm not used to Doug as a Nick tune. I'm used to Doug as a Disney character. Never saw the Nick version as a kid. Oh, you can't swear. Only the 1985 Crimson Jim can swear. Hmm. Ah, okay. Gonna get your mark cause he's a Danny fan thing and no man about the thing. He's a fan. Um, yeah. Oh man. So. I heard that, um, uh, now here's a, here's a one thing that's a bit odd about, um, about Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 and Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. They feature Danny Phantom, yet they do not feature, they did not feature any of the Fairly Odd Parents characters. And kind of baffles me. <coughs> Knowing the fact that um, Fairly Odd Parents is one of the biggest is cart Nicktoons, right next to SpongeBob and the Loud House. 
Nichols. So why exactly does Nickelo Nickelodeon Kart Racers and Nickelodeon All-Star Ball ignore the Fairly Odd Parents? Um, I have a little theory for why they are excluded. Uh, somebody at Game Mill Entertainment just hates the Fairly Odd Parents. That's the own. That's my only reason for it. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I I could be wrong, but uh, it seems like it is because they included Danny Phantom, but not. Uh, Dan, but not fairly odd. And yet, Fairly Odd Parents is more well known than Dan, Dan Phantom. I mean, Danny Phantom is like wine, while Fairly Odd Parents is like water. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has access to water, but only some people have access have can it has access to wine. Hmm. He's in Dan is Danny Finn Tim is a <laughs> similar similar to the to the Lincoln Lab with the shit with with the shippings and things. Uh, which female character in Danny Phantom do you think? Should go with Danny. Which one is it? Is it Sam? Is it? Uh, is it? Uh, I, okay, I kind of forgotten the rest of the characters' names. I mean, they're they're they're, they're hard to they're hard to. I, I kind of forgot their names. I mean, I haven't watched a lot of Danny Phantom, but uh, I just know that he has quite a number of love interests as well. You prefer him with Sam, you prefer him with Paul... Is it Paulino or Paula? I, I have forgotten. Um, anyways, uh, well maybe... Danny Phantom is done. Hey, let's see. Um, yes, yeah, Spikey is terrible. Wait, are we discussing Danny Phantom or Fairly Odd Parents? I know Sparky is terrible. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I rem I've heard of Valerie and <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. Hmm. Cosmo is camo. That's a new one. First I need a cuz Uh, fun in the old days. In the old days, uh, Cosmo used to sound like a, like a, used to sell sound like a like a car salesman. Like a, he used to talk more like this. He's like not more. <laughs> you see, we are your fairy godparents. Something like that. But in the later season, he's like poof, you're home, and you, and you're. And you grown up body <laughs> Very high pitched. Poof, you're home and you're a girl <laughs> now let me just fix Um, it's, it's kind of sad that um, when Fairly Odd Parents in the later seasons, they often abandon some of their old characters, like um, Chester and A, 
like Chester and AJ, um, Trixie. I think they kept Tootie, but and uh, they definitely did keep Vicky because um, if it wasn't for Vicky, the Fairly Odd Parents wouldn't exist. But. Hmm. But because um because in the later seasons some of the characters often keep getting removed in order to squeeze in more of the new character. Now I didn't think Poof was bad. I thought Poof was 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 all right. It, it, but um Sparky and Chloe was when when I noticed uh, something ain't right. Here we go, we have Cosmo oh, as uh, Camo. <clears throat> You know what, fellas? We won't. I don't think we'll do all of them. We'll we'll do. Uh, I'll I'll stop at fifteen minutes. So um, let's see. We have Rugrats, Kablam, Angry Beavers, Rocket Power, Chalk Zone, Tough Puppy, It's Pony. So um, hi, yeah, Chloe is played by. Right, yes, Tessa. I remember. Remy clearly is what inspired Chloe. The rat from Ratatouille? The, the fighter from Street Fighter? Hmm. Um. I'm just not. Oh, oh dear, here we go again. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, is that. Oh, there's another one. Oh, where's that? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Um, in Egyptian, similar to the Rugrats movie, but uh, didn't Rugrats already have a? Ha, didn't Rugrats already? I think there was an episode about Rugrats taking place in Egypt. Uh, I think I think it was the was it the it was called Passover. Huh. Huh. And I think there was also one with the, with the, I think it was also the Hanukkah ep uh, in the episode Rugrats, it, it takes place in Egypt, it has, uh, it's basically a parody of the story of Moses. Yes, I don't, I, I haven't seen the Rugrats movie, so this one seems a bit easier for me. Is it okay if I just, instead of having it based on a movie, I have it based on a Rugrats Passover instead?
Let's see, so he pink in his ass and so blah blah. Oh, you want, uh, oh, so you, you want a different one. Oh, okay, sorry, I thought you were, mm. so, uh, people, uh, sometimes I, <clears throat> sometimes I never quite understand. And these super chats, so people often me. Healing sway, sway, uh, Hubert from, f um, another, another fire, another fire emblem. Um, oh man, I'm not making this easy. You always want me to spend so much time on these things. Oh, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. No, sorry, I can't do it. I can't do it. Can I ask for something else, please? Uh, it's sorry, it's just too difficult. I'm sorry. No, just no. Can I ask for something else, please? Have you seen Squid Game before? No, I haven't. So, um, all right, just uh, I'll just do somebody. I'll just do. Um, Oh, no, no, I'm singing the wrong one. It's not, it's not. No, 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 no. This is, it's the. <laughs> but I know it just, it drives one particular guy crazy. In fact, he prefers the bland Disney version, the. <laughs> oh, oh god, and that, apparently that one stuck in my head more. I'm sorry, I, I, I just, I just never... Okay, okay, I'm rambled on too much, I, I better stop right there. Right. Uh, um, uh, maybe one day I'll, I'll see if I can f try and f see if I can find the Nick... Tunes version. I mean, it it must be difficult to acquire uh, the Nick Tunes version of Doug uh, or the Dis because the because Disney still owns the rights to Doug. Okay, I I can imagine how difficult it was to uh, have the the DVD or or something like that. I mean, I heard that's what a similar thing happened with Kablam. I mean, they were 
owned by Nickelodeon, but one of the segments later got owned by by Disney. It was uh, Angela Anaconda. <laughs> uh, what was I? Um, hmm. Yeah. All right. So. Um, Hmm. I, 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 I am trying. I'm trying to find the. I'm trying to find the. Uh, hmm. 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 I I'm I'm sorry, but I can't find the I cannot find the uh, Rugrats movie Egypt thing. I, all I could find is uh, Rugrats the the Rugrats episode uh, the Rugrats episode. Uh, Pass a Rugrats Passover, the one where, where um, they do a parody of the story of Moses. That's the that's the only. I think this is the easiest way I can do, with. Yeah. Like I said, I have I have not seen the, rug I have not seen the Rugrats movie, so this is kind of alien to me. I mean, I have seen quite a bit of Rugrats, especially in, even as a kid. Even the the one with the making chocolate pudding episode, the one where Angelica breaks her leg, and uh, I think there was also the one where they where um, they accidentally where um, the toy um, <laughs> where Stu was was tasked to try and fix the um, the toy the the turtle and. The kids' turtle toy and uh, Angelica's doll, <laughs> and then uh, he accidentally switched the 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 voice boxes, <laughs> so the Angelica's doll speaks like the turtle and and uh, um, still, what are you doing, making chocolate pudding? It's four o'clock in the morning. Oh, like that! You mean the you mean the something that looks like Indiana Jones? Okay, okay, I, I get you now. Um.
Another funny thing is that um, I'll, when it comes to a lot of shows and movies where the characters basically they never rage and yet they've been running for a very long time. Um, Rugrats actually, they actually had the... They actually was one of the few character few times where they actually had characters grown up thanks to shows like the Rugrats all grown up. And unfortunately that one isn't quite well as well received because they say the characters personalities are far too different from the are far too different from the original Rugrats. Now to be fair, would you honestly expect rug the Rugrats to act exactly like how they were as babies? Probably not. If they if you do, the char those characters need some serious help. Like um Chucky wants to be a film teacher, wants to be a, f a film guy and Dill, on the other hand, had the best update. I mean, how many of us didn't exactly like Dill? Well, I mean, it broke, kind of broke the law, the Rugrats law a bit with that Dill. Now, you could say that Dill was a little too young for Chucky to under, for too, a little too young, so he's not, he was not able to speak. He, um... The way Chucky, Tommy, and the others spoke. But um, the babies never talk in front of the parents. So uh, how is that? So doesn't that kind of... Isn't that a little contradictory of some kind? Hmm. Um, but uh, in the in the All Grown Up show, the deal... Uh, is like a daredevil guy often doing these strange things like mixing things up and doing all sorts of things. He's seen shown as very out there. Uh, it's three it's been about three hours already. Man. There, Rugrats is done, and uh, <coughs> okay, fellas, I think I'm gonna pack it in. Hmm. Now, you, some of you might be asking me, um, what about Kablam, Angry Beavers, Rocket Power, Chalk Zone, Tough Puppy, and its po? Actually, I'll I'll cross out one more. It's I'll cross out uh, this one. Well, it's uh, we've been about this for about three hours, and I feel like I want to. Uh, I feel like I want to call it quits. It's because uh, they did another spirit crypt called preschool days. Uh, I think uh, I want to take a quick break. Uh, I can I can. You can still ask me on either Discord, DeviantArt, or in the comments section what you want for Kablam or Angry Beavers, Rocket Power, Chalk Zone, Top Puppy, and its Po. I'll, I'll leave a I'll leave a little note on something like that in case you still want me to do anything about them. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna yeah. Now, what's going to be for my next live stream? It'll be on Sunday. And for this one, I'm going to be a little bit more restrictive on this one. So uh, I want 
you guys to try and obey every single rule I have for the next one. You can still request there, but uh, your quest will be a lot more limiting for that time because I want to make that one a bit more honorable to this man's 120th birthday. A man who helped revolutionize the medium of animation. He's said to be one of, if not the god of animation. And he often goes by this particular quote. I hope that people realize that it all started by a mouse. Okay? Thank you for joining me. I'll see you all in the next live stream. I hope you've enjoyed this video.